Hi there, we're here with Al Arthur of Sandhill Kennels and Pat Burns of Elite Retrievers. Al just got done running the second series water triple. Al, thanks for being here. Good to see you, Pat. This is our defending national field champion handler. This is not Gizmo, this is 10, but Al, you just came offline. We're looking at the second series water triple and I've had some discussions with a few other folks. I'd love to hear your take on the test. Well, first of all, this is a great view of the test for the audience. But it's a good test. It's awful hard, awful tight, and a dog's got to be really focused to pick out that long gun with this short flyer right here. And we have the win here. That's what a lot of handlers wish the win was like that. It's pretty much it's straight more, It's cross. gone more left to right, hasn't it? Left to right. This was what it started as. You know, and you get the stuck flyer pretty good, you're feeling good about yourself, but the dogs seem to get in the channel and kind of bail out, fade with the wind, and you can't tell it, but it's a mound, and the dogs get around the mound, come over and smell the bird and get it. The key is to get them thinking left to get this long bird. There's a couple tough paths in here that the dogs want to jump in, and that pushes them right. And between this gun and the and back here, there's another mound. A lot of suction to the right. The wind's pushing you to the right. Crossing this road is, seems to be a killer. The dogs cross the road, they're fading with the wind and they have to get way deep. And then they come over and smell the bird. But it's a, I mean, it's a good test and it's a lot of discipline involved. And you know, it goes back to really focusing on watching those birds to the ground. How much do you think this water here on the left influences the dog right? Well, up online, you don't see this. You see a little water here. And I think some of them, I've seen some of them tiptoe in this, but I think they're not worried about this water as much because they're really, when they come out of this channel, so many of them are so right anyway, or they're thinking right, that they don't even realize the water's there. What about these bales out here? Is that an area that the dogs target? I, I do think once they fade with the wind, and they haven't got to this holding blind, those two keep, those two round bells play a key part in this. Okay, very good. I've got one more thing I'd like to show you, Al. This this does, and give me just a second here to, because uh, this, this is a picture of, uh, this is the fall area right here. Can you see that? Okay, great. This is, this is the long bird. Angle of the road. Here's the two bales over here. Gives you a little perspective, and I've, uh, of the of the fall area in a little bit more detail. Oh, that's excellent. How about the angle of this road that helps you pull a little right I, as well? I think with the wind, they fade with this road just a little. And they're not smelling the bird till they get out here. You know, we have a lot of dogs here and you think they're deep enough, but they're never quite deep enough to smell that bird. And I think that wind is just out there at whatever 250, 300 yards plays a huge effect on them. Now, Good luck to you the rest of this national. Thank you, sir. I've Good. enjoyed it. I hope you can defend your championship and uh, look forward to seeing you and talking to you again. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You